the tutorial we're going to be building an object using the basic tools available to us in the interface. Let's start by creating the bulk of the house. Select your square face tool, which is right there, or rectangle. And then go to your push pull tool, and let's pull that straight up. What you're going to do is you're going to push your mouse forward to a good height. Let's zoom out a little bit. Select the magnifying glass and pull backwards on your mouse, which will zoom out. You want to position your objects. You press the pan tool and then press and drag until you have it right where you want it. Let's do the roof of a house. I'm going to select the line tool. Now I'm going to make a line across the face of the top portion of the object from edge to edge. Select the push pull tool and we're going to create an eave. We'll do the same thing on the other side using our orbit tool. Select our line tool, get a bearing by hovering over that point and we'll press there for the first point slide over to the other edge for the second press. Notice how I use the reference of that point to start this one. Select the push pull tool and pull out another eave. Select the line tool and then find the midpoint of this particular face by going towards the middle and you'll see it turn to a blue circle. Press once or click once and then go to the other side and you'll see the same type icon. You'll make sure the line is right to the edge. Select the move tool and then find the center of that line that you just made. Press and hold the move tool and then push your mouse forward which will bring our line straight up. Notice as I bring it up you'll see it says on the blue axis and it also has a dotted line signifying that I am snapped to the blue or Y axis. Release and it looks like we have a good roof shape. We're probably going to need a door and some windows. Let's do a, once again, the rectangle object and draw a door. Select your push pull, select the door and push forward. Let's make a window. Again, select your rectangle tool and we can make one on the other side. You can align objects by hovering over one point, moving over and then selecting your first point based on that reference. Or push forward so that you have, and you can do the same thing for faces. You're still holding the push pull tool, but you drag over and select a reference step. So press the paint bucket and we're going to paint these windows a, a transparent color. Scroll down to where it says translucent. Once you select translucent, select your desired window color by pressing on it once and click where you want to apply the texture. And you'll see Google SketchUp has a number of wood options and textures for you. So let's select one of them and just simply click on the door. Select the materials drop down. Let's go to brick and cladding. Select what brick appeals to you. Click once so it shows in the swatch and then click on your surface. Repeat as necessary for each surface you would like to add that texture to. Make sure your make sure your paint bucket is selected when you do this. And we'll need a, a shingle texture for the roof. You can use that same folder of textures right there. And there you go. Making a simple house.